What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode. I'm Nick and I'm back. Sorry for the lack of episodes lately. As you can see, it's a really nice day out here. Super flat, beautiful, nice and sunny. And there's not too many people out here today. Maybe we'll do some halibut fishing, maybe some rock fishing. We'll see. It's a nice rock fish. Watch this, guys. Just gotta do a little, little turn here. Little turny turn. You will be back. Oh yeah. Come on. Please, that was a good one. Right in front of Adam, I ruined it. All right, let's get serious. Let's get right on top of him here. There he is. Got him. Yeah, my favorite. Get over here. Oh, yeah. Ooh, look at the size of that black and yellow, guys. That is my favorite. And it's huge. I'll keep that. When I don't want to play around rock fishing, I don't play around. Right now, I'm. We're getting into the zone here. Hundred percent, dude. Not that big, though. Got him. Link. You think that's a link? Took drag. Yeah, My drag was too loose. Might be. See it coming up. 20 feet. 10 feet, 10 feet. He's loading up. Nice rockfish though. Yeah, big grab. That's about all the size the size I've been getting today. Guys, that guy is chunky. Look, that guy's old, man. Look, nice one, huh? Look at that, guys. 
add them to the bag. When I was little guys, one of my favorite types of fishing was going on rockfish charters. And my uncle and I took it so seriously. We, we were meat hunters. We definitely went just to fill up and get a limit because my uncle would be so mad if I didn't go home with 10 fish. I love rock fishing, guys. It brings, brings me back to my childhood. Oh yeah. Automatic. Automatic. This is a good rock fish too. This spot is pretty heavily pressured, so a lot of people know about this spot. And rockfish are the slowest growing fish in the ocean, guys. So you can, it actually takes them 20 years before they can reproduce. So a lot of these fish have been swimming around down here, probably, probably since the last world war. 20 years ago. More. So let's keep going. Basically I'm using a fish finder rig with the trap rig, sliding snail. And then I have a nice big treble hook in the back. Nice sharp gamakatsu hook in the front. A lot of the times these fish, they hit them in the front. And if it's not really sharp, the hook will slide down and the hook won't go in the fish's mouth. Watch this guys, drop fish, drop sea fish. Um, I have swim baits if you want to swim bait. Uh, sure, you got an extra one? Yeah. I guess I'll throw one. Dude, this is fun, man. I'm surprised I haven't gotten a lean yet, though. Oh, I got a nice one, dude. This is a gaffer. This looks like a halibut. Pull and drag like crazy. Dude, come check this out. This is 35 inches, man. No. What do you think? It's big though, huh? Shoot, look at that thing. Ho ho ho! Dun 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 dun! Look at that, guys. That's what I was looking for. Nice gaff job, nice hook. See, see what I was saying guys? 
a lot of times they hit that top hook you got to make sure you have a sharp hook there because you need it to go through this really hard bone so got to put a little pressure on them wow that's a nice fish let's get them on the stringer That's close to 35, I think. Yeah, maybe you're right. 35 is big. Dude, that is a nice sling. Put up a great fight. Three really long runs. Oh man, look how much anchovy is in his mouth. Oh my gosh. Check this out, guys. Look how much anchovy is in there. Holy moly. That is crazy. There has to be a tr whole tray of anchovies in there. Wah wah wee wah. <laughs> 